Hey guys, one of the best way to clean your airbrush is using an ultrasonic cleaner. There are many models out there ranging from various prices from cheap to expensive. So let's take a look at my model. It was a pretty cheap model and it works great. The model I have is a Kendall and it's a pretty generic brand. It costs about $45 on eBay. It's a small unit so it saves on desk space and it uses about 35 watts and runs about 42,000 hertz and it cleans pretty decently. Note that the higher the hertz, the better it cleans. It has 5 time cycle and it ranges from 90 seconds to 480 seconds. It comes with a basket and a watch holder but you only use them if you're going to do stuff like jewelry. I've seen cheaper models on eBay that puts out about the same power but the unit's much smaller. So just shop around and there are many models that ranges from like $10 to a couple hundred dollars. Now using it is like super simple. First of all you need the cleaning solution. In this case I'm using Windex straight from the bottle. You can also just dilute it one to one mix with water just to save up on Windex and not make it too powerful. You can also use simple green and do a one to one mix with water there. As well you could also use airbrush cleaner like the Wada Media airbrush cleaner. It gets a little expensive but then again just do a one to one mix. You just fill it up as high as you need to to cover the whole airbrush. Ultrasonic cleaners aren't really built to clean up really gunks of big globs of paint or anything like that. So that stuff you're going to have to wipe down first. So give your airbrush a nice wipe down. Clean up any major stuck on paint and stuff like that. The ultrasonic cleaner really just cleans up the little itty bits in between all the nooks and crannies. Then you go ahead and uh, take apart your airbrush. Be very careful of the small parts. Just go and drop the parts into the solution. You want to make sure the cleaning solution submerges all the parts of your airbrush. Now I just set it for 480 seconds and I do about two cycles of that and I'm usually done with it. It's actually quite cool. You get to see little smoky things coming out of your airbrush. That means it's getting it cleaned up and you know taking out the gunk in those little areas. While editing this video, Annex actually put a video about his ultrasonic cleaner. And he also talks about how you can't just throw a painted figure into this cleaner and then have it strip the paint. But you can see how he did it though. And you can also check out his ultrasonic cleaner. The link is at the bottom of the description. And that's it. Two cycles at 480 seconds. Now I just take the parts out and put on a paper towel and let it dry. And once dry, just put the airbrush back together again. As for the cleaning solution, you can actually reuse it a few more times if you want. Personally, I just use a new batch every time I clean. Remember, you don't have to just clean your airbrush, you can also clean jewelry and stuff, so if you have to have to convince your spouse that you need to get one, that's a good argument. And finally, super thanks to my bud, Les, that awesome paint job for tips on how to start using this thing. So that's it guys, leave your comments suggestions below, sub if you haven't subbed, like if you like, and favorite if you love me, I'll talk to you guys later.